they were saying we're the only first class passengers here. Let's travel the world. Let's travel the world. Let's travel the world. Let's travel the world. Morning. It's 4 a.m. Let's wake up. Wakey, wakey. Winky winky Hey guys, so a tip for you if you guys are staying at the first class lounge here in uh, Qatar Doha International Airport is for first class passengers, there's a gate um, right here, right there. So this is by the uh, the smaller uh, lounge area. So you don't need to go outside the lounge. They have their own boarding gate. Not really boarding gate, but they will. Uh, you need to go down the stairs and um, a bus will take you to, I guess, the boarding gate. So we will see. Um, do some quick video. Straight ahead. So we're gonna take the lift going down. Thank you. Wow, look at this. So this is pretty cool. We're the only ones here. So the bus will take us to the uh, the boarding gates. Pretty sweet. I mean, it's just us too. So we're really excited. So we're going to fly first class with Qatar Airways. So. Thank you. 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 Thank Then we have two options in the front of the cabin exclusively for you. Mm -hmm. And also the entertainment can be controlled from the gaming console over here. Awesome. And that's it, right? Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, uh, sir, I'll be coming to you in a moment with our uh, signature uh, welcome beverage for the first class. Mm -hmm. It is Arabic mess, Arabic uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. It's a traditional welcome in the Middle East. Okay. So it involves a showmanship. So I'm gonna pour some coffee for you. Mm -hmm. Should you wish to record, I would suggest you to do a boomerang. Boomerang. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So because yeah. it's, I'm gonna pour it like this, yeah. and then if you wanna do it though. I can't wait. Just I, I wanna place. do it. <laughs> sure. Let me show you guys around the bathroom. So nothing fancy. It's clean. And uh, yeah, that's it. So this is a one 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 configuration. So that's one, one, and one. So there's a total of two, four, six seats in the first class uh, cabin. 
And there's Kyle looking so chill. Alright. <laughs> oh, just take whatever? Yes, sir. Take as much as you want. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll just get Oh, nice. so this is the clean one date, mm -hmm. a premium quality drink, and this is an Arabic coffee. Mm -hmm. It includes saffron, rum, coffee, and part of okay. um, This is how it should be the, the, the welcome is done at home in the Middle East. Okay. You try it and let me know the taste. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's really different. <laughs> so, do you eat this after this or that? Yeah, that. you just mix them sometimes. Oh, what about you finished everything? <laughs> so, I think so no. this one doesn't contain any sugar and milk. Mm -hmm. oh. So, that's why we offer dates along with it so that it balances the sugar that's required for the coffee. Okay, do you put this in here or you just eat it too? Just eat it. I didn't know, so. Right, I'll eat this and I'll try the boom right? so, so, Was it bitter or something or is, was it just like normally with the... With, you, you could experience the flavors of the coffee, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh! This is the boom <laughs> So right now we're taxi. So we're about, uh, you know, lift off is like less than five minutes. But he, he was trying to get our, you know, our order, you know, our order, you know, appetizers, wine. And but anyway, so he suggested a drink, a uh, cocktail that uh, that enhances your your taste buds before you you you, you eat. I forgot the the name of the. Uh, the, the, the drink but he mentioned that the alcohol you know it came from Italy you know the alcohol and it's a secret you know, nobody knows how to do it so it's just like a secret menu secret alcohol so um, so uh, I so I told him you know let's let's do your recommendation and uh, yeah so I can't wait to try that so pretty excited so it's been it's been awesome so far and uh, I, I get giddy when we uh, when we do you know this kind of experience you know this first class flights because uh, you never know you know the ex you know the experiences like so I mean for me um, so far we we've, we've done three or four first class flights and uh, so far Qatar Airways has been awesome so far and uh, as uh, like the the lady was saying we're the only first class passengers here. So that's uh, so uh, yeah, it's been awesome. So yeah. um, I'm gonna do more uh, updates uh, within the next few uh, minutes because we're about to take off. So. Let's travel the world. Let's travel the world. Let's travel the world. Let's travel the world.
this cocktail is called the April Spritz. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Sorry if it's, if it's a little shaky. You know, we have a little bit of turbulence, but yeah. So it's just the April Spritz, and uh, this supposedly enhances the uh, the food's flavor. So let's try it. All right, let's try it one more time. Because it was, you know, there was just some turbulence in there. Anyways, cheers. So the first uh, thing that I ordered is the, the caviar, I forgot the name, so the appetizer is called caviar with cooked salmon. So it's served with a selection of accompaniments, blinis, blinis I think, or blinis, I don't know, blinis and melba toast. Yep, can't wait to try that. Then. I also ordered the soup of the day and that is, it didn't say anything but yeah, well it's soup of the day, we're done. So it says we are created by our chefs from the freshest ingredients. Then for the main entree, I ordered oven baked halibut filet and marinated jumbo prawn. Sounds good. So it's saffron lemon risotto, blanched cauliflower and yuzu beer blanc. I don't know if I pronounce it right again. I'm butchering a lot of words today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's Bure. Bure, or Bure, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, so, I love jumbo prawn. Or I love prawns. So, let's we'll see. Um, yeah, that's it. I only ordered three things. So, if I have some space later, I might try other things. Like the dessert and some brunch platter. But yeah, so, excited. Yeah. 
Or you take pa-up? Yes. So how do you uh, how do you describe the flavor? It's salty. Salty? The taste of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens if you add everything together? You went by it. There's a symphony of the way. I'm going to use a little bar. <laughs> it's good, huh? Alright, thank you. So I'm checking all the movies that we have in that they have very limited options so yeah that's all of it so I'm getting a little full so a tip for you guys if you do decide to fly business or first class Make sure to not eat um, a heavy breakfast. So I somewhat did that, but um, I think I had breakfast at 5 a.m. and uh, I had the second breakfast at 8 a.m. So about three hours and in between. But I guess in a way that's good because I don't want to eat when I'm hungry so I can taste the food. So I guess there's some pros for that. But yeah, just going back, if you just try to. Uh, Keep your eat, have some light breakfast, basically. So, cheers. So you can get the headset over there in that little pouch. Then, if you're ready to uh, watch a movie, the plug is right here. There you go. So, so there are two ways to control your seats. You know, if you want to make it lie flat, so it's one on here on the right hand side. So, right there. And also right here. So can press that. This one too. It's the lights. Try it. Yeah, good. Like it? 
a million heartbeats Together now, one, two, three Tell myself that I leave the world better than I found it So I was talking to Miss Fiona earlier about for this round First class is not being offered not just three weeks ago and um, when I booked it, it was just last week So uh, she was surprised because uh, this is very new So we are you know, glad to be like one of the, the first passengers to have experience while in first class, you know, for the Doha to the Maldives route. So I can't wait to uh, finish the video and I can't wait to show you everything that happened earlier. So uh, it's been it's been an awesome experience and uh, yeah. The next stop is Maldives.